teaching on the Passover and on our teachings on the Lord's Supper, we explain how the Lord's Supper comes from the Paschal ritual, that is the Paschal Seder, the Passover meal, which what, what the Last Supper was when the New Testament was inaugurated. Washing of each other's feet, as Jesus said, you should wash each other's feet, and the host becoming the servant. That shows how the leadership of the church should be the servants of the other people in washing their feet. That is, we wash each other's feet, Jesus said, restoring each other from our contact with the world. Peter said, clean all of me. He said, the rest of you was clean because of the word I'd spoken. Remember Ephesians chapter 5, washing with the water of the word. But when you walk through the streets unpaved with sandals, they get muddy and mucky. Well, so it is. We are already clean as new creations. But when we're out working in the 9 to 5 world, surrounded with unsaved people, our feet become soiled. They get cleaned in the place of fellowship. It is restoring each other from our contact with the world before we come to the Lord's table, before we take the Lord's Supper. That's what it broadly means. Jesus washed Judas', Judas feet for the same reason he gave him the sop. By giving him the dipped sop, which is still practiced in the, in the Haggadah, in the Passover liturgy, in the Paschal meal, in the Seder, by giving him the sop, he showed him favor. If you notice at the Last Supper, the two people closest to Jesus was the Apostle John, who loved him most and reclined on his chest, and Judas. The two closest people to Christ will always be the believers who love him the most and the ones who love him the least. Right up until the last moment, he was show, showing Judas favor. He was washing his feet from his contact with the fallen world. He knew what Judas did and was planning to do. But by showing him that grace of giving him the sop above all of the other apostles who were there, he showed the backslider one last chance. Before someone goes beyond that point of no return, that is referred to and alluded to in Hebrews 6, Hebrews 10, that point where the Spirit of the Lord left King Saul and a demon came, which is what happened to Judas. King Saul's a type of Judas. Again, I'd point you to the book, Shadows of the Beast. Before that happens, the Lord gives a backslider one last chance. Judas, I know what you did. I've cleaned you up this one last time, and I'm showing you favor. Well, Judas made his choice. Now, the Son of Man must be betrayed, for it is written. But woe to him by whom he is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he was never born. Judas is the son of perdition. Uh, again, the same title as the Antichrist. Whenever we see something about Judas, the Holy Spirit's showing us something about the Antichrist. Again, I point you to the book, Shadows of the Beast. Right up to the last moment, Jesus is showing him favor. Now, Judas is not only a type, a shadow of the Antichrist to come. And again, we've explained this many times. They're both into money. They're both not demonically possessed, but satanically possessed. Satan entered Jesus, Judas as Satan entered or will enter the Antichrist. Okay. Um, when John, in his epistle, the apostle, describes Antichrist, he describes him in the character of Judas going out from among us but not being really of us, or the way Judas was able to ingratiate himself and con people by pretending to care about the poor, that teaches what the Antichrist is going to do with the social gospel. Please read the book Shadows of the Beast if you haven't read it. Yes, he's a major, major type of the Antichrist. We cannot understand Antichrist without understanding Judas. However, he's also a picture quintessentially as it were, a corporate solidarity of backsliders. They always have a last chance. Although they're wandering away from Jesus, Jesus says, 
Come sit next to me. I want to talk to you. I got to wash your feet here. I'm going to show you this favor. Not because you deserve it, but because I'm a God of love and grace, and I don't want you to do this to yourself. Don't go the way of Satan. Judas, type of the Antichrist, absolutely very important. But he's also a quintessential corporate solidarity picture of an unrepentant backslider who goes too far. That is why Jesus washed his feet. That is why Jesus gave him the sop. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Dear friends, greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen. Will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo. Harpezo. What the scripture actually teaches about the rapture. The snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blood of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo. All available on the Morial catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.